Let's talk about compatibility between the algebraic structure and the order structure of R. So what do we exactly mean by this? What do I exactly mean by this? So using algebra, we will try to look into, you know, various properties related to the order of, of elements in, in real number set. So let ABC be certain, you know, real numbers. Then we claim that if a is greater than B and B is greater than C, then A should be automatically greater than C. So we're talking about transitivity here, okay, in, in terms of transitivity, in terms of greater than, okay, in terms of greater than. Now, if A is greater than B, then a plus b should be greater than b plus c so if if there is any number c any number c can be positive can be negative any number c out there if i add it to both lhs and rhs it should not make any difference the order should be still intact and if a is greater than b and c is greater than zero then when you multiply both the sides the order is maintained and here we can probably add in case we would have a less than you know negative c then also what will happen the order will be changed the order will change and ac will be lhs will be less than or less than your rhs so let me try and prove for you the first part so let's start off by a now, what are we given? So, given, so it's an if and then statement. So, I have to take as given, let if possible, A greater than B and B greater than C be given. Okay. So, let us assume these, this, this part to be given. So, what do we need to prove? Need to prove that A is greater than C. So, TP means to prove. Now, A is greater than B. What does that imply? That implies that A minus B would be greater than 0. Or to be more specific, by definition of positive real numbers, I defined positive real number in the previous video. So, A minus B would actually belong to the set of positive real number, which we called P. Okay. Which we called P, right? So, similarly, B greater than C would imply B minus C would belong to set of positive real numbers. Okay, so here I have a positive real number. Here I have a positive real number. Can I add them up? Can I add them up? So adding 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2. What will that give me? A minus B is a positive real number. It's added to B minus C. Okay, so using algebra, what will that be equal to? B would get cancelled out and this will become A minus C. And, and this thing, by the properties of real number, I know that I am adding two real numbers. This should belong to the set of positive real numbers, right? This should belong to this. What I am doing, I am taking one positive real number and adding it to another positive real number. That will give me a positive real number. Okay. So, ideally this is belonging to P. And also by cancelling what I know is that this particular A minus B plus B minus C equals to A minus C. And that belongs to the set of positive real numbers which would imply that a minus c is greater than zero which would imply that a is greater than c so are we clear about to what we wanted to prove we have just reached there we reached to what we wanted to prove okay in the second 
in the second case okay part b what we had okay what we had let me write a little broader so we need to take we had an if and then statement if and then statement talking about that if a is greater than b then if i add c to both the sides the order remains so what do i need to assume assume a is greater than b a is greater than b okay so again what do I need to prove? And I need to prove that A plus C is greater than B plus C. Okay. So I have A is greater than B, which again implies that A minus B is greater than 0, which implies by definition, this implies that A minus B belong to the set of positive real numbers okay it belongs to the set of positive real numbers so what i next do c is some number some real number c is any number any scalar so i i have a minus b as a number now now a minus b can be written as a plus c minus minus c minus b what i've done is i've just added and subtracted a c right i've just added and subtracted a c and by the way what do you think this is i can combine right so a plus c minus minus b plus c would give me the same result right a plus c minus b plus c would give me the same result so i have that result with me now okay and that this would mean a minus b belongs to the set of positive real numbers or p so this means that a minus b belongs to p which means that this expression which actually equals to a minus b should actually belong to again the set of real numbers p it's basic algebra okay okay so what will that mean that will mean that a plus c minus b plus c would be greater than zero would be greater than zero and that would mean that a plus c would be greater than b plus c so what we are doing is actually we are trying to prove certain obvious things and that's what real analysis is all about so that's the beauty of real analysis you actually try to prove uh, many many obvious things now we'll be doing the third part okay in the third part we were talking about product so we were talking about that what happens if a is greater than b and you know there is certain c which is greater than zero then we say that you know if we multiply c to both the sides the order still remains and order is opposite if c is less than zero so let me take as given so we must start with what is given to us and what is given to us is that a is greater than zero and c is greater than zero okay and what we need to prove is that a c would be greater than b c okay that's what we need to prove so a is greater than b a is greater than b what does that imply a minus b is greater than 0 which implies a minus b belongs to the set of all polynomials positive sorry set of all positive real numbers okay so which we have quoted as p also since c is greater than 0 it implies that c belongs to the set of all positive real numbers okay so c also belongs to all positive real numbers so what we can do okay this is by definition of course so what we can do is we can multiply one 
positive real number to another positive real number. So multiply one positive real number to another positive real number and the result will be again positive. So positive multiplied by positive will give you positive, right? Product of positive, positive. So which implies that A minus B into C is, is a part of the set of positive real numbers and if I open this up what do I get I get this is greater than 0 which means AC is greater than BC okay so that's what you get by definition of positive real number set so that's how we have proved certain algebra. Now here, what will happen if say my C is less than 0? If my C is less than 0, what will happen then? Okay, if C is less than 0, then minus C will be greater than 0. Okay, minus C will be greater than 0. That means minus C would belong to P right and and of course I have every other condition intact okay so therein if I multiply a minus b into minus c now that should belong to p because it's a product of two elements of p okay so that should give me whatever element that should be in p so minus ac plus bc belongs to p which will imply that AC is less than BC, okay, or BC is greater than AC.